Okay, it is uh, 6 o'clock. I'll call this uh, February 3rd, 2015 meeting of the Andalusia City Council to order and ask you to stand and join us in the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance led by Councilman Griffin. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you that we can count on that scripture and verse, Father. Father, thank you for our freedom in this country. Father, thank you for the that you continue to give the council leadership wisdom and make, help us to make wise decisions. Father, I thank you for the grants we are and have received and for the help of the citizens who give so freely of their time and self. Father, we pray all of this in your son Jesus' precious name. Attention. Salute, pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome everyone to our first meeting in February. Uh, we have guests with us, and we always welcome our guests and remind everyone that we meet on the first and third Tuesday of each month with a workshop beginning at 5 o'clock upstairs in the, uh, in the meeting room, and then the regular council meeting starting at 6 o'clock here in the council chambers. Welcome everyone to come and join us. Uh, first item of business tonight, council members, is to consider the minutes of our meeting held January the 20th, 2015. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we accept the minutes as written with no corrections. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I second. All right, we have a, a motion and a second to approve the minutes as presented with no corrections. Any further discussion? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is unanimous, and I thank you for that. Uh, no unfinished business. Under new business, we have Resolution 2015-03, which is a, uh, a, request, a requested resolution from the Alabama Department of Transportation, uh, which is requesting permission from us for them to resurface Highway 84, or US 84, and, and Highway State Highway 55 from River Falls uh, to Choctaw Street. And so, uh, the, 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 again, those are U.S. and state highway that they will be resurfacing, will be no cost to the city, uh, and, but where it is inside the city limits, the law requires, the state of Alabama uh, code requires uh, the DOT to get permission uh, for resurfacing projects inside the city limits. I would recommend to you that we give them permission to resurface that road. So Mr. Mayor, I make a uh, motion that we approve resolution 2015-03, as you stated, the Alabama Department of Transportation resurfacing U.S. Highway 84 uh, and, and Alabama Highway 55 from uh, River Falls to Choctaw Street here in Andalusia. Okay, and uh, do we have a second? Second. Uh, for further discussion, just for a little little explanation, Choctaw Street, for those who may be listening or watching, uh, that's right there at, uh, that street is right there at uh, uh, Right Aid, right there in that intersection, uh, right there where Right Aid is and where the mall uh, is across the street. Okay, uh, any further discussion? All in favor of adopting the resolution, please indicate by raising your right hand. Any opposed, same sign. And so we have that approved. Thank you. Uh, item B, 6B, is to consider uh, entering into a contract with a company uh, named Retail Strategies. This is a company that's headquartered in Birmingham, but they have uh, offices scattered around all over uh, the southeast. Uh, they do business with municipalities primarily, helping municipalities uh, market themselves uh, to retailers, national and regional retailers. Uh, this company, uh, as I said, it, uh, has been in business, uh, I didn't say yet, has been in business uh, 
uh, it's a merger of two previous companies, but been in business for many years, uh, and in, involves some people that we've known uh, that have worked with the city before, or at least uh, related to some people that has worked with the city before. And so we, we are familiar with the, the parties. We have met with them, at least uh, some members of the council and I have met with representatives from this company and, and had long discussions uh, about uh, what they would bring to the table, what they offer, what offer to the city uh, in the way of services of helping the city of Andalusia uh, identify uh, and uh, court, so to speak, new industry or new, or new retail businesses uh, to our city. Uh, the way that retail is now attracted uh, to municipalities specifically and particularly related to uh, larger retailers, uh, regional and national retailers, uh, is all based on uh, data. And uh, if you don't have your data put together and you're not uh, presenting it in the proper way, you stand zero chance of landing one of these uh, retailers in your community. That is what retail strategies does. They, put the, they, they, they spend about three months, or will spend about three months if you approve this contract, uh, gathering all the data that you can imagine about the city of Andalusia. And not, not just sales uh, and retail data, but all other kind of data related to uh, our education institutions, our medical institutions, uh, uh, and uh, uh, habits and, and uh, uh, customs of the people of Andalusia and Covington County and our market area. Uh, they have already identified Andalusia as a is a market center for South Central Alabama for retail business. And what we've got to do as leaders in this community to expand retail opportunities is to expand our market area. And that's what they will help us do. They will help us identify what our market area is, and then they will help us uh, attract retail businesses uh, that will expand the market area. They will also work with our existing retail businesses to help them expand their businesses. And all this, all this, all this that we're talking about is data-driven and, uh, and is based on science and, and mathematics and, and uh, business plans. It's not based on whether or not you have a nice-looking community or whether, whether they like you or not. It's based on hard black-and-white decisions based on uh, data. Uh, It'd be a three-year contract, and uh, the first, as I said, the first three months or so would be uh, involved with them gathering data and, and organizing that and producing a strategic plan that they would then bring to us and present to us. That probably would be modified one way or the other. And then they would work with us in putting together uh, uh, campaigns, so to speak, to uh, work with and attract uh, new industries that fit our community and fit our market and that we have a, a real chance in a landing in Andalusia, Alabama. So uh, we've talked about this for a good long while. I think this is the, the way to go. I know that they represent a number of cities throughout Alabama and 22 states in the United States uh, in, in the similar fashion we're talking about and they've had success as far as I can tell in all those areas. So. Uh, I recommend to you that you authorize me to uh, enter into this contract so that they can get started. There is a big uh, retail show that's coming up in March or April. I forgot exactly what the date is, maybe, maybe even May, but they, they've got to get this put together so that they can make a presentation at this big uh, retail uh, show that will take place in Las Vegas out in May. And in, in order to give them the time to get that done, we're going to have to move uh, right on this. So. I recommend to you that we move forward, and I would request that you authorize me to enter into this contract with uh, retail strategies, and uh, you have a copy of it there in your packet. Uh, and we've had legal counsel look at this. I've looked at it, and uh, it's not the, it, there's nothing in there that we can't, uh, can't live with. And I think in the long run, it fits our strategies to be associated with retail strategies. Mr. Mayor, I move that we uh, give you the authority to enter into this contract with retail strategies. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. All right, a motion and a second authorizing the mayor 
uh, to enter into the contract with retail strategies. Uh, do we have any further discussion? Mr. Mayor, I think, I think uh, it is important that we note that this is not just an effort to bring in new businesses, but that the data that is assimilated by this company will be made available to local businesses for them to make decisions, to have the first opportunity right. to expand their business. Very good point. Uh, the, 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 the services that they will provide will include uh, and primarily, uh, first, uh, include existing businesses in Andalusia, retail businesses, and give them the opportunity to look at this data and see uh, what may be uh, out there, what, what, what we may be leaving on the table, I guess is a way to say it locally, because we're not offering that service or that product, so, uh, or line of products. So uh, you're exactly right, uh, Mr. Powell. Thank you for bringing, bringing that up and pointing that out. Any other discussion? Well, another thing I note words on that, Mayor, I think uh, is important. Uh, it would be to me, if I was a business person, that all this falls under the umbrella of the city and uh, it won't be a charge uh, to business owners themselves. That's correct. This, 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 when, the, when they enter into a contract with us uh, to provide these services, it, it won't just be the city of Andalusia benefiting from it. It'll be the businesses benefiting from it. And we, we, we'll be paying the bill on that. But... Uh, uh, the research that they're going to provide would be made available to our existing uh, existing businesses for them to be able to uh, peruse and, and, and they'll work, uh, retail strategies will work with those businesses to help them attract uh, new customers. And the idea, quite frankly, is to grow the size of the economic pie in Andalusia and Covington County and in our market uh, so that we have a, a bigger retail pie uh, so that there's more profit available out there, more sales available to all our existing businesses, in, and in including some new businesses to go along with it. Okay. Mayor, I think that was one thing that really got our attention, all the mayor and the council, was that we're concerned. We appreciate the businesses that are here now. We appreciate what you do for our community. You have stood by us for a number of years, and this is another step to make sure that you will be with us as we move along. That's a good point. Uh, uh, and I would, I would just, I would expand that by saying this. We're often asked, well, why don't you do something for existing businesses? This will be, this will be primarily for existing businesses. This is something, this, this, this project will be first, uh, the first people to benefit from it or have the opportunity to benefit from it will be our existing businesses. So, a very good point, well made. Thank you for that. Mayor. Mayor. Yes, sir. Also, in that same context, is how many times we have many of our citizens say, I sure would like to see a so and so here, or I'd like to see a so and so here. Everybody has ideas about what could go here and what would be successful here and what would be their desire. This kind of takes that planning and thought way away from each one of us and, and, and puts it in the hands of everybody. And mainly it puts it in the hands of these people who are developing this, this study and it tells us what fits here and what doesn't fit here so that we don't waste our time on the wrong things but waste our, uh, direct our attention to the stronger possibilities and for the needs of the citizens that they're missing or having to go out of town for. Excellent point. Exactly correct. All right. Any other questions, discussions? All, right, all in favor of uh, authorizing me to enter into this contract on behalf of the city and ultimately our, our existing businesses and potential new businesses, please indicate by raising your right hand. And I believe that is unanimous and I thank you for that. We had a, an item of business that we added to the agenda tonight because it came in late. Uh, we have the opportunity to look at a bond issue, that uh, reissuing of a, a bond issue that was issued in 2009 that would give us uh, some favorable results in, the, in, in either lowering the amount that we pay off or either creating some a cash reserve that we could use in other ways. And, uh, 
Uh, I got the call from Bob Young, who is a principal with the company Fraser Lanier in Montgomery. Fraser Lanier has done work for the city for us uh, and for the airport and for uh, Southeast Alabama Gas District and for many others, one of the major uh, investment banking firms in the state. Uh, they need to get started on this process if we're going to be able to take advantage of this uh, dip in the interest rates. And uh, we have a potential pay up, payoff to the city if we do that in cash terms in the amount of about $365,000. Well, that's a pretty good sum of money, I think. And I think we, did, we need to pursue it, follow that up. <laughs> By voting for this tonight, you're not, you're not doing anything other than authorizing me to authorize Mr. Young to move forward, and it, it, he will come back to us for fur further and final authorization before we move to the final stage. So uh, could I have a motion and a second on that? Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve Resolution 2015-04, the bond reissue of the 2009 issue, which is supposed to give us about a five basis points improvement in our rate. Okay. Uh, you heard the motion. Do we have a second? I second the motion. All right. Second by Mr. Mount. Any further discussion or any questions? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that as well is unanimous, and thank you for that. Uh, that's all of the uh, business that we have uh, to act on tonight. Uh, we did uh, have Judge uh, Bowden, <clears throat> excuse me, Judge Bowden, our probate judge, met with us upstairs and, and re reviewed and talked about the, the, annexation, the annexation election that will be held here on February the 24th for the, uh, the residents of the area that's proposed to be annexed uh, on the east side of Andalusia. That election will be held on February the 24th from 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening at the uh, uh, Wilbur Williams Law Enforcement Training Center. Uh, he, <clears throat> of course, has run, the, the, the probate judge is the, is the legal authority in each county to, to uh, conduct these, these types of elections, and he will be handling this for the city of Andalusia. So uh, if you live in this area, if you're, if you're a resident and a bona fide, uh, a bona fide reg, reg, resident and a registered voter, you're entitled to vote in that election, and that will be on February the 24th. Uh, it, from 7 to 7 at the, uh, again, the Williams Law Enforcement Training Center on the east side of town. Also, I'd like to congratulate one of our employees again, uh, uh, Mr. Ricky uh, Wiggins, excuse me, I all of a sudden lost his name. Ricky Wiggins was uh, honored at the uh, Andalusia Area Chamber of Commerce this past Thursday night when he was named the winner of the 2015 uh, award for, uh, I forgot the exact name of the award now, I believe it was uh, Outstanding Employee. Outstanding Citizen. Outstanding Employee. No, it, it was, a, I had it written down a while ago. Community Service. It was a community, community Service. Community Service. Community Service Award. And it's one of the top awards uh, given each year uh, by the Chamber. And uh, we, uh, we're very uh, proud of Ricky. He worked real hard on a lot of different projects, but one that people will remember most recently, he worked very hard on the uh, snowstorm on, on the square in Candyland and uh, did an outstanding job and was there, served many, many hours over and beyond his, his uh, line of duty. So we, that makes us proud. Ricky is not the only dedicated employee we got for this city, we got many. But he serves as a great example uh, for all of us, and, uh, and I appreciate very much what he does. Uh, we have uh, one opening on the TNR, the Tourism and Relocation Committee. This is a very active committee in our city, uh, hardworking. Uh, they work on a lot of different projects throughout the year. And uh, so there's, a, there's one opening on that. If you have an interest in it, uh, please come by City Hall or call us and give us your information. We have two openings on the Andalusia Housing Authority. Again, this is an active uh, organization that operates our uh, housing authority properties in, inside the city limits of Andalusia. If you have an interest in serving in, on that authority, uh, please, in, in the same sense, uh, call us or let us know, count, or contact your council person, let them know, and we'll make sure that you are 
consider before we make the uh, final decision on that. Okay. Uh, anything else to come before the council tonight? Members of the council. All right. Hearing nothing, we will stand adjourned.